For most people, this is a sight that makes the blood boil. The scale of this fly tipping in Essex became notorious. The clear up cost to councils across England is now £50 million every year. They're just lazy. Yeah. I just can't be bothered. I either don't want to pay the expense of having to somebody to come and pick it up, hire a skip. A bit annoyed, not angry as such, but I think it's just a matter of uh, more educating them. Of course it makes you angry because obviously you have to live in the area and, and if people are uh, downgrading your area, of course you're going to be angry. And yes, damn right we'll get angry. There are prosecutions, but not that many. It happens in less than half a percent of all cases. This is pretty typical. We've got laminate flooring and bathroom and kitchen cabinets here from a house clearance, a van load of stuff. And for this council, every year now, the cleanup cost is approaching three million pounds. Enfield in North London is top of the league table by miles, but it says that's only because it counts every single case and not, like other councils, just the cases which are phoned in. Enfield says fixed penalty notices are working. It's very hard to prove though, isn't it? I mean, do you have to actually catch somebody in the act? Well, you can go through bags when they're left to see if there's an identified name. You can use CCTV, but there is an onus of proof and obviously that has an impact. But we are very robust in trying to find the perpetrators of this antisocial behaviour. Charges at council tips are an issue, but campaigners say nothing justifies this sort of behaviour. When people are fly tipping either at the end of your street or on somebody else's fa farmland, often the things that are dumped have some sort of toxic element. So what we don't want to see is those toxins either getting into our wildlife, our domestic pets or into our watercourses. Eyesores like this are caused by an uncaring minority. It's the rest of us who pay in more ways than one. Simon Viger, Five News.